Hi everybody. In this video, I'll go over the basics of georeferencing. Georeferencing is the process of manipulating a map image, such as a scan of a paper map or a PDF, to align correctly with geographic coordinates. Why would we want to do this? One common use of georeferencing is to overlay a topographic map onto shaded relief. For many map projects, you won't be able to find shapefiles or other GIS friendly data and will need to use printed or online maps as a reference. You'll need to bring these maps into QGIS or Illustrator to use as a guide for tracing the areas of interest. This leaves two options. Manipulating the reference map in Illustrator or Photoshop to get it to line up correctly with your base map, a nearly impossible task, or georeferencing the reference map in QGIS so it lines up perfectly, or at least close enough, with your base map. Sometimes the reference map indicates which projection it uses, so you can reproject your base map to the same projection. This is no guarantee that things will line up perfectly, but sometimes it's good enough. The problem with this method is that it forces you to use the same projection as the reference map, which you might not want to do. In other cases, clearly defining the area in question is important, so the reference map needs to match the base map exactly. This requires georeferencing the reference map to match the base map, a more involved process and the subject of this video. Here's a map of Ukraine in its original projection, WGS84. And here is the same map with the reference map overlaid on it. As you can clearly see, they aren't close to aligning correctly. I reprojected the base map to World Mercator, which gets it pretty close to the reference map as you can see, but not quite perfectly. The technique I outline here doesn't require reprojecting the base map, so you can use whatever projection is appropriate for your project. Georeferencing involves three steps. Bringing the reference map into your QGIS project, adding control points, specific geographic coordinates to it, and using QGIS to perform the transformation. For this example, I'll use a map of Ukraine showing occupied and disputed areas. Here's the final map showing these areas. Here's the finished base map. And here are the areas I need to add. These are some maps from a PDF that I found online. According to QGIS, you can geo-reference a PDF, but the process turns the PDF into a raster and doesn't seem to work very well. Because of that, I opened the PDF maps in Photoshop and saved them as JPEGs. QGIS prefers JPEGs for this. If you're scanning a paper map, make sure the paper is flat on the scanner to avoid distortions. Georeferencing uses control points, which are common points on both the reference image and the base map. QGIS will use these control points to transform the image into the same projection as your base map. The key to getting good control points is to use clearly defined points on the map. I usually use distinct geographic features, such as sharp projections on a coastline, like in these examples, or the intersection of borders or roads. Cities also make good control points. You could use Google Maps or Google Earth, but since we already have a base map with a CRS applied, we can get the control points directly from that. Here are the steps. Open the base map and zoom to the area of interest. Here's my base map of Ukraine. Go to Raster, Georeferencer. The Georeferencer window will open. Click the Open Raster button to load your reference image. For this map, I'll use some distinct features of the Ukrainian border and coastline as control points. I'll zoom into the reference image, click on the Add Point button, and click on a border intersection. In this example, I'm not zooming in so you can see the entire map, but you'll get better accuracy if you zoom in. I'll click at the border intersection. The Enter Map Coordinates window will appear. There are fields for the latitude and longitude coordinates, and I can enter those if I have them, but I can get QGIS to find those values for me by clicking on the From Map Canvas button. This switches the view to the base map. I'll zoom in to the same point and click. This brings the map coordinates window back up and enters the coordinates for you, 
which is very cool and a lot easier than finding these values yourself. Click OK and a red dot will be added to the reference image. The coordinates will also be listed at the bottom of the window. The projection setting on the Map Coordinates button should adjust to the base map's projection. If it doesn't, set it to Project CRS. Now repeat this procedure to add more control points. There's no magic number, but use at least 6. I usually use 10 to 12. The more points you add, the more accurate the transformation will be, but don't go crazy and add 100 points. Try to add points close to your area of interest and also some farther out. Once you have your control points done, click on the yellow gear icon in the toolbar and the transformation settings window will appear. You only need to pay attention to a few of these settings. Transformation type. This is pretty complicated, so I just use Polynomial 1, which works well in most cases. Target SRS. Set this to Project CRS. Output raster. This lets you choose where to save the new file, so do that now. You can also click this box to save the control points, which I recommend. I also click the Add to Map box, then click OK. Back in the georeferencing window, click the Start Georeferencing button. This will begin the transformation. After a few seconds, you'll get a notification. You can now close the window. Now double click on this layer to open the Layer Properties window, click on the Transparency tab, and lower the opacity. And there's my reference map, correctly aligned with the base map. Be sure to include this layer when you export the file to SVG. Before you export your map from QGIS, set the opacity of the new layer back to 100%. You can reduce the opacity once the file is in Illustrator. Now when I get the map into Illustrator, I can use the reference map layer as a manual tracing guide, or I can let Illustrator do this using Image Trace. It's possible to georeference a map image without using a base map, but it's very complicated, and I really don't see why anyone would do it that way. Regardless of the coverage area of your map, it's easy to create a simple base map in QGIS, change the CRS to whatever you want, and then georeference the map image to that. This way you can get the coordinates directly from the base map instead of getting them from Google Maps or Google Earth and entering them manually. Check out my designer's guide to creating great maps at themapguide.net slash guide and download two free chapters. That's all for now. See you next time.